Ang simula at wakas ay kapatiran. Ito ang mensaheng nais ipabatid sa pagtatanghal ng Alpha Kappa Omega. Ito ay ang adaptasyon ng pelikulang Batch 81 ni Mike De Leon sa ilalim ng pagkakandili ng tanghalang Ateneo. Doon sa proseso ng adaptasyon, uh, sinangkot ko yung mga aktor mismo. Kaya lumilitaw dito hindi lang yung laman na nung original na pelikula, kundi pati siguro sa lamin ng mga pinahalagahang issue o suliranin ng mga estudyante ngayon. Kaya nandyan ang social media, nandyan yung uh, mental health. Uh, at syempre, hindi uh, ko alam kung pinalad ba kami o nagkataon na pumutok ulit yung issue ng fraternity. Malaya ang mga mamamayan na magkritika ng mga problema sa pamahalaan, lipunan, etc. Medyo mas malakas yata ang tinig nung... Uh, nung bersyon namin, uh, mas diretsahang hinaharap yung mga issue. Ang likhang ito sa direksyon ni Gelan Luarca ay mapapanood sa tanghalang Rizal hanggang sa ikalabing tatlo ng Abril. Samantala, narito sa bansa ang kilalang artistic director ng ilang mga tanghalan sa Broadway sa Amerika na si Joe Barros. Layo ni Barros sa pamamagitan ng kanyang masterclass na maipamahagi ang mga makabagong pagsasalarawan ng kwento sa teatro. So this is a workshop about the development of new musicals, how we incubate them, um, and how we can bring them closer to production. I think that um, ultimately storytelling and the way we tell stories is also is ultimately a universal a universal thing for all of us. I think we have to remember that uh, we have to use the internet as a leveraging tool. We can we can use it to expand our audiences, but we have to be responsible that the material that we do put out there is our best work, or even while it's incubatory, because that work can be out there forever unless we control to decide to take it down. But by putting video clips and sheet music on our websites, um, I think it is a, a lucrative way for writers and creators to make money and to get exposure for their work. Um, we, have, we find that people from all over the world get excited about the work that we're doing. In Ilang kilalang pangalan din sa teatro ang dumalo sa kanyang lecture. Ito yung napaka-importante opportunity para sa amin um, working in, in local theater and in local film. Dahil sa kagalingan ng Pilipino, eh, may karapatan tayo to learn all about that kasi Uh, dream natin yun and, and we, should, we should work for it. Marami na akong nakitang similarities. Uh, at hindi, hindi namin alam yung mga labels nun. Uh, inimbento lang namin yun, out of gut feel lang namin. Like yung, yung reading na minimension niya at saka yung how to interest yung mga investors. To further develop our stories for universal audience. You know, we have a lot of stories to tell and I think Filipinos are so, we're so talented. We're everywhere in the United States and we're such a musical country. Like every household, there's a karaoke, every, everybody's singing. So, um, and it, that makes us unique. And, and this will, will give them um, opportunity, definitely an opportunity um, for, for everybody to, to, to experience and to, you know, to be able to to see like more of us and to basically um, learn our own stories. Malaking tulong ang lecture lalo na sa makabagong henerasyon ng mga theater actor at producer dahil sa mga bagong kaalaman mula sa pagbuo ng musical hanggang sa paghahanap ng sponsors para sa palabas.